Okay, my name is Amir, I'm part of the AI department. I'll be talking about counterfactual explanations for consequential decisions by presenting a case study. This is Edward. He's 35, he has two credit cards, he's saved 35,000 euros in the bank, he's employed as a group leader and is single. Edward is thinking of buying a home. After months of scrupulous savings and many open house viewings, he's finally found one that is his dream home and is ready to place an offer. However, first he must visit a bank. The bank, having access to troves of historical data on customers similar to Edward, decides to train and employ a machine learning based system to decide whether to grant him the loan or not. The system may look something like this. If we follow the, the paths in the tree, we can see that in this system, Edward will be granted the loan. <coughs> However, as the bank collects more data, the system grows and may look something like this, or perhaps something like this. And what's evident is that these more complex models are better able to model the nuances in the historical data. However, they come at a, as, uh, they come at a cost, and that is of interpretability. Now, three questions arise, uh, arise when, um, when we are presented with a model like this. The first one is that the bank may ask itself, what are the important features for classification? The law or regulators may ask, are we acting fairly by relying on sensitive attributes such as age and marital status to come to a decision? And finally, customers, just like Edward, who are not granted the loan may ask, what should I do differently next time to be granted the loan? Answering these questions is the concern of the field of interpretable machine learning. In our recent work, we focus on answering the third question by presenting what are called counterfactual explanations. They go something like this. You were denied a loan because your account balance was 35,000 euros. If your balance had been 50,000 euros, you would have been offered a loan. Specifically in this scenario, the nearest counterfactual problem or explanation is important because it specifies the minimum effort that the individual must endure in order to get the desired outcome. This problem can be formulated as such. However, this optimization problem does not generalize well to different, different distance metrics or function classes, and the current methods do not come with distance guarantees. So we propose model agnostic counterfactual explanations where the um, original optimization problem up top is converted into a conjunction of logical formulae, representing both the optimizer on top, um, the trained model, as well as the constraints that we have. And we have an example of conversion on the bottom here. We conducted over 40,000 experiments and verified that the counterfactuals generated, oops, the counterfactuals generated um, are not only 100% plausible, meaning that we are able to find an explanation for every individual, but they're also at distances closer than any of the other um, approaches that are currently out there. Smaller bars here is better because it means closer distance to the original sample. Um, now, in this case study, we looked at loan approval. However, as more complex machine learning models deliver higher performance and they become more black box, um, we see them deployed more and more in the wild. Not only for loan approval, but also for other consequential situations such as these ones. Ultimately, the deployment and adoption of machine learning in the wild will depend on the trust that is fostered between humans and machines. And interpretable machine learning and counterfactual explanations are one step towards that. Thank you.